welcome back, y'all. Uh, y'all, y'all, we got to talk. Um, I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but my my social media feed has just been blowing up the last I don't know several days with all kinds of stories, and I kind of want to string a few of them together. Uh, the first one is some guy that I don't know said something and gets told that's anti-Semitic and I guess his his shoe line gets dropped or whatever. Okay. What I did see was from people that I, at least whose names I would recognize, I don't know him personally, but I did see people jump into his defense and saying, hey, well, what he said was right. These this many people in... Um, in the media, the own media companies share this ethnicity. And I thought that was interesting. I thought that was, um, I thought that was actually kind of foolish, at least as, as a way of, uh, of looking at it. So I want to ask you a question, because I see some people that, that shouldn't be buying into this that have even had similar arguments used against them. Um, uh, I want to ask him a question. I say, hey, uh, what's the problem here? What, what is actually problematic about that? Is it problematic that a handful of people who control almost all the media in this country share an ethnicity... Or is it problematic that a handful of people in this country control the media? Period. The end. Um, because what I see is I see people getting distracted arguing about stupid stuff. Okay. Um, because if the problem is that they all, that so many of these people share an ethnicity, um, you could fix that by changing out the people. But that really wouldn't change the problem, would it? Is, is the problem not only that a handful of people, or a very small, small minority of people, control vast portions of the information that people consume, or is the problem, or maybe is there another problem in what they're willing to do with that, all right? Because I'm looking at a... A report over here that just says um, uh, all these media companies, or at least some of them, were, were actively working with the federal government to control the narrative on a number of different things. All right. Now, now, why is why is that an important question to ask? Well. I know why all this information is coming up now. It, it's being blasted out there right now because we're about a week out from the midterm election. And I would love to think that after that, it's going to calm back down again. But I know, I've, I've been around long enough, i got enough gray in my beard, that I know what's coming after that is the midterm is just the, it is the starting line where stuff is going to just ramp up and they're going to, go crazy just bombarding all of us with all kind of nonsense running up to the next presidential election and it's going to come to a fevered pitch about this time week or two ahead of you know two years from now all right don't y'all vote however you want don't, or don't i vote don't vote i don't care all right. What I want to encourage you people to be doing is not buying into the garbage, okay? Because I look at this kind of thing and I see I see people who are looking at the situation and saying the problem is all of these people have power, have this power. I want to encourage you to start thinking Who, maybe no, no, because I know how some of y'all would answer that. I want y'all to start thinking, 
should anyone have this power? Because what I've seen time and time again is one party comes to power and they need more power to overcome the, the horrible, disgusting individuals on the other side of the aisle. They just need a little more power. And then the other side comes in and they just need a little more power. And the other side comes in and they just need a little more power. I want to encourage you, vote however you want with the election, but do not, do not get fooled into thinking that that is going to do anything meaningful for you. Okay? So what will? What will do something meaningful for you? Well, if you've kind of seen my channel long enough, you probably know what I'm going to say. What do I finish out with every stinking video, uh, no matter what I'm doing? is Y'all take care of each other. So I want to encourage you to do several things. Number one, start working on yourself. All right? Work on your mind. Work on, your, you know, growing your intelligence, your wisdom, your skill set. And there's all kinds of stuff. I'll, I'll do a whole, another video. Excuse me, and a whole other video on, on what kind of skill sets to grow. But probably yes, quite frankly. Just find some skills and start growing them. Figure out what you can do, what you need to do to take care of yourself. Start figuring out all these different things that have been, all these ways that control of your life has been taken away from you. Usually not even by force. All right, usually just by convenience and start trying to figure out how can I take some of that back. All right, and, and you're going to see some of the ways that I'm doing that. I'm Obviously, I'm building the, the workshop out in the woods. You're going to see some of what that's for. You're going to see some of um, what I'm, uh, other stuff I've got going on. I don't want to quite announce it just yet, but uh, start building ways to provide for yourself to provide for your family, whether that's a, 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 a literal blood family or just your group of trusted people, which may or may not be at all related to you. Um, start building your community, right? Um, and at the same time, I want you to build connections to other people like you. I want to, you know what, no, no, I'm going to do a whole video on, on just that. i got to write stuff down. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling and ranting here. But above all else, take care of each other. Figure out what needs you have. Go find ways to fulfill those needs, whether it's a hard need like food and, and drink and, you know, a place to a place to live or that's more of a uh, you know family and fellowship and, and, and community relationship kind of need or you know what have you but I want you to look at the people around you and there's gonna be a lot of a lot of hype coming up where you're going to be encouraged to see the people around you as less than human because they don't agree with you on this or that or they don't think like you or they don't look like you. I want you to try to see the humanity in everybody. But at the same time, I understand that there are people you do need to create distance from. I don't want to go into that. Though. I don't want to chase that rabbit trail. I guess to finish off, really, don't get distracted. So much of this noise means so very little. Better yourself, better your team, and most importantly, y'all take care of each other. All right? Till next time.